Hello, Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, I hope all of you will be fine and in good health. Uh, so today I am going to start another chapter which is uh, related to the random variables. Okay. Uh, from this uh, chapter uh, onwards we will cover all the material which is related to the CLO2 of our course. Okay. So what are we going to discuss here? The initial thing here is the uh, notion of a random variable. What is a random variable and uh, what is the concept of uh, CDF, PDF, PMF, what are the concepts behind these things and then after discussing these things we will go towards the uh, different types of random variables which include uh, discrete random variables and continuous random variables as well. So uh, this is uh, the book you guys uh, seeing in this lecture is basically the uh, third edition of uh, the book which we are following but uh, it is okay if you guys are following the second edition and uh, if you guys have a um, hard copy of the second edition it doesn't uh, matter if you are if you guys are using this or the other one but uh, the only difference here is that uh, in third edition the chapter is named as discrete random variable okay the chapter is named as discrete random variable but in chap in uh, second edition of the book the chapter this chapter chapter 3 is named as the um, random variables okay uh, so in that in chapter number 2 of uh, in chapter number 3 of uh, our um, hard copy of uh, uh, second edition basically covers all the material in the third chapter whether it is discrete or continuous okay so it is nothing but in chapter in edition 3 the this one chapter which is covered in uh, second edition is basically divided into two chapters uh, the one half is covered in chapter number three while the other half of the chapter number three of edition two is covered in chapter four of our edition number uh, three so there is nothing to worry about uh, questions are little bit different so you guys are free to follow any of the edition uh, there is no restriction on the edition uh, so this is all about what we have talked uh, about the addition of this book additions of this book so the initial thing here we want to discuss is the notion of a random variable that what is the random variable so basically random variable is a function which maps the which maps numerical value uh, to to the outcomes of any random experiment okay this is basically in this book you guys will see that the random variable will be uh, denoted as x while the outcomes will be denoted as zeta okay so this is the random variable what it does it has it when some uh, outcome is given to it it will give you some value which will be x of zeta okay and the value it will have is small x this is this is this x is called a random variable okay from where will it get all the values it will get the values from another set which is called x of x and this s of x will contain all the numerical values it will contain all the numerical values and these numerical values will be from another set which is S and this is the sample space of any random experiment. Sample. This is the sample space of any random experiment. Sample space. what is this this is initially this these things are little bit trickier uh, so uh, basically you guys know the notion of a function what is a function what it does and what it doesn't so let's say we have a function f of x okay we have a function f of x 
and the value of this function is let's say in algebraic form this is x square so this is basically a function and uh, what is the uh, what is the notion on what is the functionality of this function is that it maps it maps any value of x into another value okay if you give it one if you want to find out the value of one function one it will give you one okay one x this is x square so when you put one uh, instead of this x so one square will be one if you give it two as an argument it will give you guys four similarly when you give it three it will give you nine and so on so what is happening here this function f is mapping the value of this variable which is the independent variable to another variable uh, sorry another constant which is the dependent one so that's why this thing is also called y do you remember this thing when you were uh, uh, when you were studying calculus in calculus basically you have domain and range or uh, two variables which is what, uh, first one is the dependent variable the other one is the independent variable all the values on the x axis are basically the independent variables but the values which are mapped over the independent variables or independent values are basically the dependent values which are dependent upon the uh, values of x axis which are written over the x axis so here the same notion is followed here where this x is basically the random variable it will take the value of zeta and give some value to this zeta this value is not this this value is basically random which is dependent upon the outcome okay this outcome might have some value which is 2 3 4 and so on this will this value will be provided by this thing and this this x values these x value will be selected from these s of x these are not basically the values which will come from nowhere but these values will be uh, basically stored in this s of x and will be taken here and what is s of x s of x is basically the numerical formulation of in this sample space okay so uh, this thing is covered here after we will discuss an example this notion will be covered and this notion will be understandable very easily it will be very easily understandable okay so let's move on okay the same concept is covered here where this is the sample space in sample space you have an outcome zeta this zeta is mapped to a uh, numerical value by this x which is a random variable and it is mapped here from the values s of x okay so what is this let's move on towards the example so ex in example 3.1 we have an example of coin tosses where we have a random variable and the notion of random variable and the concept of random variable will be much clearer in this example a coin is tossed three times and the sequence of heads and tails are noted okay uh, you have been tossing a coin sequentially and uh, the uh, sequence of heads and tails are noted down and written in the tabular form the sample space for this experiment is this one this is the sample space okay this is now um, this is the first thing which you guys will have to write and this is the first thing which is written here and previously when i was uh, describing the concept of random variables so what was s s was basically the um, sample space of the overall experiment okay it contains all the outcomes of a random uh, experiment so s is hh h h h t h t t and so on up to t t t these are the possible outcomes of a coin toss which is uh, coin toss which is uh, basically tossed three times okay uh, let x be the number of heads in the three tosses now a random variable has in arise arise here which is basically the capital x what is capital x x is the m number of had in three coin tosses okay so x is a random variable 
what is this this is this is basically the number of heads in three tosses which is a random you cannot predict the number of uh, the, you cannot predict the uh, number of heads uh, beforehand the experiment okay if the experiment is not performed you can now say that how many number of uh, uh, heads will you get or how many number of tails will you get okay so here the number of heads are basically the x which is a random variable x assigns each outcome zeta in s, uh, s a number from the set s of x this s of x is what this is dependent upon x and it tells you that in any experiment okay in any event which is mentioned here what is the possibility of getting heads okay either you can get zero head either you can get one head or either you can get two heads or three heads and no more okay because you have three tosses so you guys can get um, the number of heads up to three so you guys can see that this is s of x it is taken from s and what is zeta zeta is basically the actual event any event here is the zeta so you guys can see that this x is basically mapping any value let's say this is h t t so if x is the number of heads in any random experiment and x is a random variable so what will be the value of x t t this will be equal to 1 so you guys can see that this x has uh, converted this event into a numerical value which is 1 and similarly you guys can see that these zetas are tabulated here and the corresponding values of x zeta are written here as well these are 3 2 2 2 2 up to 0 and these values are taken from this set so x okay so now I think this thing is clear this thing is now very clear so uh, basically if you don't know the concept of random variable it will be very difficult for you guys to understand the concept of a um, different probability distribution the concept of CDF and PDF so give some time uh, this, to this concept and uh, after learning the concepts of random variable you will be good to go ahead okay so let's move on to another example which is also given in this chapter and that example is the um, betting example a betting example what is a bet you guys can say it is sharp in, in real life we bet on everything and this is basically a casino or anything uh, just like in uh, nowadays the game we have many game shows which ask you to uh, buy a ticket for a game show and if you do something you will get something okay so apparently we see and we observe that uh, the show or the person in the show is giving people the things which uh, which is basically a loss but uh, in actual sense the show or the thing is um, portray of that example okay uh, so uh, so basically uh, in this example uh, um, in a show a player pays 1.5 dollars to play the following game okay there is a game a coin is tossed three times and the number of heads x is counted okay uh, again x is the number of uh, heads in uh, the uh, random experiment the player receives one dollar if he will achieve or he will get two heads and eight dollars if the three heads will occur okay if he is tossing a coin and three heads are um, going to appear then he will get eight dollars but nothing otherwise if, if there is no head he will get nothing if there is no uh, if there is one head in three tosses he will get nothing so a uh, majority vote will be the uh, possibility of his win let y be the reward to the player okay uh, a player is getting a reward that is either one dollar or eight dollar and uh, y is a function that random variable x and its outcome can be related back to the sample space of the underlying random variables as follows this is the table these are the random experiments these are the number of this is basically the <coughs> s of x and this is the reward for this triple edge it will get eight dollars and for this 
two heads for these two heads it will get one 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 dollar okay so what is this this is basically the example of uh, a random variable uh, let's move on uh, to discuss the possibilities and probabilities of the loss and probability of winning here in this example okay so uh, this is another example example 3.3 and this is related to the uh, finding this is related to uh, the finding the probabilities of different events which are occurring in this game okay so what is this let x be the number of heads in three independent tosses of uh, fair coin find the probability that the event x equal to find the probability that the player in example 3.2 wins eight dollars when will he get eight dollars he will get eight dollars when he will uh, he will get three heads in three consecutive tosses okay so initially what is the probability of uh, what is the chance or what is the probability of x equal to 2 that is the uh, that are basically the event when he will get two heads out of three tosses and these are these three events okay so what are the probability as the three events are basically independent of each other we can write their probabilities like this one as well okay you guys know that this is a binomial distribution function we can also find the probability or we can also write the probability of this event like 3 p square 1 minus p okay we have uh, discussed this thing in our previous lecture and uh, we can write different values here and find the outcome uh, or the out uh, output probability by this formula if we know that the probability of a success here is 1 by 2 by writing it we can find that the probability of success is 1 by 2 similarly what is the chance that he will get um, 8 dollars that would be uh, the that would that would only occur if he will get three heads in three consecutive tosses and we know the probability of this event and that is 1 by 8 so you guys can see that what is the chance of what is the chance of his winning can you find out the chance of his winning this is very easy either his winning will be by this formula or this formula so 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8 this is what this is 1 by 2 so after paying 1.5 dollars he has a chance of 50 percent of getting something in hand uh, while he will leave the show okay so this is very good example give it some time and uh, you will understand the notions of different probability function and different things and uh, this example and the uh, notion of um, random variable uh, once clear in your mind will be very beneficial for you okay so the other more the other things are basically uh, will be somehow confusing for you guys i suggest you guys to remain uh, up to this point and understand the concept of uh, random variable okay so this video uh, is related to the random variable in other way in another video i am going to discuss another important concept which is related to the cumulative distribution function okay what is basically a cumulative distribution function if you have different uh, probabilities if you have different probability uh, probabilities of the set of uh, the outcome so cumulative means the summation of the uh, probability so in cumulative distribution function or uh, we can cumulate or add different probabilities and find the probability of one uh, one event or many events up to infinity okay so uh, this is the uh, first section of this chapter you guys can see the same formulas and same things here uh, function that is not a random variable just leave these things up to uh, now and uh, you guys will understand these things once all the things and all the concepts in this chapter will be covered 
so um, uh, let's meet let's see you guys in the other video thank you